There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. Good morning. So praise the Lord. Day number four of our prayer rally. Yesterday evening we had a very powerful service. I think all of you must have watched and seen the highlights. And today we are starting our journey from Tulsa, Oklahoma, all the way. It's the longest, probably the longest drive that we are going to have to Albuquerque. And all our team is ready. As Alvin is ready as usual. Wilfie is ready. Gigi brother is ready. First time I'm seeing somebody wearing Hope in Jesus T-shirt in USA. In India I've seen, but in USA I've seen. Then there's another T-shirt of ORU. <laughs> and all of our wonderful pastors. So we were staying in Pastor Akila's home. They received us well. And this is his home and uh, we're going to leave. Grishma is already inside the van and she's ready to go. And uh, who is on the driver's seat? Albin is already on the driver's seat. So it's a long journey, uh, close to 1,100 kilometers. Uh, it should take 12 hours, but God willing, we should reach on time for the meeting today evening. And let's come together, go forward and carry the liquid fire anointing of the Holy Spirit from the East Coast to the West Coast for a glorious revival in United States of America. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are right now in a state called as New Mexico and the highway that you see right behind me is Route 66 which has been famously infamous for many things. I think if you read about it you will understand. And when we entered in this place we actually stopped at a gas station. The gas station itself looks pretty old. The very old setup and inside also there were some artifacts. And uh, when we looked at those artifacts it says that this is a land of enchantments. Everything it is written, enchantment. So in other words, this is a land of black magic, witchcraft which is done. So we started getting a feeling when we pray and drive and actually we stand on the ground like this and we believe and pray and anoint this land even with oil. We are believing that this land will be healed. No longer this land will be a land of enchantment but may this land be a land of worship pastor alvin also has a few thoughts regarding that route 66 is very famous uh, the small children who watch cars movie they were they will be very familiar with route 66 this route 66 is one of the oldest routes because one of the first settlements happened in uh, 1706 where we are going to have a prayer this evening so this is going to be a very crucial prayer drive and we are standing where it has been claimed it's a land of witchcraft. So we are here with the blood of Jesus Amen. and the power of the Holy Spirit to break those strongholds in the nation which is trying to support witchcraft in the high places. So we're going to pray. We saw so many things inside and we are led to pray here standing on the ground and believe that today there's going to be a great breakthrough in this state yes. and in the nation of America. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we're going to pray and Pastor Jimmy will lead us in prayer. Heavenly gracious Father, we come to your throne of grace and mercy Lord. Every high place must come down. Yes. yes. Everything that exalts itself must come down. The only thing that we know that is high and lifted up is the cross Amen. of Calvary. Yes. Everything else must bow down to the name of Jesus. So even right now, Lord, as we stand on this ground, we declare your God over this land. We declare salvation on this land. We declare that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses this land. Yes, as white as snow. We've heard that many missionaries were killed and slaughtered on this land. 
And Lord, even on behalf of those who were sacrificed their lives, O Lord, yes, we declare that this land from now onwards will not be called a land of enchantment, but a land of prayer, a land of worship, a land that declares that Jesus Christ is your King. So Lord, we want to thank you as 12 of us have gathered, O Lord. Yes, as we come in agreement with this, O Lord, this is going to be a, yes, a turning point in this state. This is going to be a change in direction in this state. This day is going to be remembered in heaven for the time that 12 of us stood here and we declared that Jesus is God over this land. Lord, we give all these souls, O oh Lord, oh, all those who travel, O oh Lord, yes, each and every one, O oh Lord, from now onwards when they travel on this land, O oh Lord, they will remember that this is the land that was given up, not for enchantment, but for declaring the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And now we are going to pray for the oil and Jesus brother will pray. Amen. And as we step into this state, uh, New Mexico state, we are claiming this state for the Jesus. And by the anointing oil, we are going to anoint this land and we are going to repossess it for his glory. And we, we declare the glory of Jesus upon this land. We declare the glory of the Yeshua upon this land. We cancel all the powers of the darkness. We cancel all the powers of the black magic and the witchcraft. And in the name of Jesus, we step into this land and we reclaim and repossess. Everybody say repossess. We are repossessing for His glory. And right now we are going to pour the oil and we are going to anoint and let me cancel all the sins and all the witchcraft, rituals, everything in this area. Amen. In Jesus' name. When uh, Philip and Stephen went into Samaria, all the people, the black magicians, they threw their black magic books and they were saved. When the apostles went into a city, they turned the city upside down. Twelve of us here, we believe New Mexico will never be the same again. Jesus is going to be ex exalted in New Mexico. Amen. 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 Pastor James? Yes? Are you there? Yes? How many is to sing? One more time! Praise Him, praise Him Praise Him in the morning Praise Him in the noon time Praise Him, praise Him Praise Him when the sun goes down Love Him, yeah! Him. Love Him in the morning Love Him in the noon time Love Him, love Him Love him when the sun goes down. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth in heaven and earth and glory. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. In this God before him, heaven and earth and glory. What a mighty God we serve. After a long drive, close to more than 13 hours, God enabled us to safely reach New Mexico, Albuquerque, the place which had troubled me to pronounce. This is a fantastic place, very dry place, not many churches here, and this is the pastor of the church. We have just reached safely, so continue to pray for us as we get ready to pray for us. Amen. Lord, pour out your spirit. The peoples of the earth Let your sons and daughters Speak your words of prophecy Send us dreams and visions Reveal the secrets of your heart Lord, our faith is rising all heaven sound the coming of your day There's gonna be a great awakening There's gonna be a great revival in our land 
There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Lord, pour out your Spirit On all the nations of the world Let them see your glory Let them fall in reverent awe Wonderful time of worship, wonderful time of word. Um, I really love the shofar blowing, and uh, I'm, I'm sure the, the the prophecies that were made here today will be fulfilled in the in the coming few days. And uh, we'll be continuing to pray, even though you are you guys are going to leave. We'll continue to pray for those prophecies to be fulfilled, not just in the city, not just in the state, but also in this country and in this world. It's really great, and we had real really awakening revival. Uh, we need these days and uh, thanks for the team, thanks for the leadership. Hi, my name is Babu John. I've been pastor in this church since 2007 and this International Christian Assembly. We are so privileged to have the uh, prayer team coming over to us and blessing us with this evening. We had a fantastic evening. Heaven came down, God's God, glory revealed and people were blessed and we are so privileged and we are so thrilled to have the presence of God in our life and what God is about to do. I believe the best is yet to come because Jesus' resurrection, all things are possible. Thank you. God bless you.